This is our tropical outlook. This is the only spot highlighted right now, and I've been saying there is not much here. It's just a little disturbance here, and we're expecting it as it moves into that general orange shaded area to at least have a chance, only a medium chance right now of developing. Let me show you that our models are not in good agreement, but in general, they do have whatever this is, making it somewhere around this part of the Southwest Atlantic by late this week. So this is Thursday, so several days to watch it even get to this point. The European model develops it a little bit, brings it out into the Western Atlantic and has it curving around a big high right here. So that's what the European forecast has, a little stronger and staying out way to the east. The GFS forecast yesterday had something vaguely similar, but now this today it's just showing a really messy kind of system, maybe just bringing some moisture toward Yucatan eventually, not organizing it as we get all the way through the next week or so. So hard to say whether it will organize, it will have some factors limiting it, but it does look like at least some models picking up on some organization. And then this is the steering pattern next weekend. This high will be key. This is what the European model is picking up on. And actually the GFS was yesterday too, curving the system out around the high. Also, interestingly, we may have this trough possibly dipping along the east coast of the US. That could also draw it up off to the north before it even gets anywhere toward the Gulf Coast. We will see. Obviously, too early really to say anything for sure, as it's way out there and it is not anything at all yet. But for now, no tropical threats for the Gulf Coast. We have lots of time to watch it and the activity. Keep in mind, even if this one doesn't pan out to be much, uh, does generally increase, of course, toward late August with the peak day of the season around September 10th. So obviously we'll expect that increase in